is what it spat out. So it's sort of like AI's done it. Let's put them all in and let's spit out another van. The AI machine. Things that Relax, people calm down. want. You're maxed out. I'm not maxed out. <laughs> oh, way. <laughs> 267,000. I haven't seen anything better. <laughs> ever. Yeah. yeah. G'day, Craig and Tracy Caravans by the Campfire. Mm -hmm. Just before we get into this episode, because it's about the Zone Summit. Yes. They brought it all the way from Queensland to show everyone in Sydney what it's like. And I don't know where it goes from there, but well, they're probably doing a travelling road show. If you get a chance to have a look at this van, it is like the ultimate van. We just wanted to jump on first before it starts. Mm -hmm. We've had over a million views on our channel in 18 months or so. Yep. which is just outstanding. So there's a lot of people out there and they're reaching out to us all the time to ask questions about these videos. So keep those things coming. I always answer every question. And mm -hmm. whatever you want to say, you just say it. doesn't matter what the van is about, what van it is, what brand, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And when we went out to this Zone Summit show... To right, off-grid outfitters where the summit was. Yes. We just saw all these people that had watched one of our videos. Yes. And it was so great to see them in the flesh. Like, you mm -hmm. don't know any of these people. And very friendly, welcoming, it was great. So we got to find out all about them. Today, we went out to see Marco and Gabby. Mm -hmm. They just picked up a Peregrine, which is a zone van. Yeah. And they're, they're from Switzerland, mate. They yes. come out here, live here six months. They're retired. Yeah. Six months, travel around. Six months ago, they come out, rented a van mm -hmm. and a car. And a car from for six months. Point. Yeah, from On Point Caravan Hire. Huh? Yep, from our videos, so that's how and they came across On Point. So They've come back, checked our van out, and they've bought their own van, mm -hmm. which is a great thing. Oh, and it's nice and shiny. Oh, it was so nice to see and it. And what about Ross and Sue from? Ross and Sue from New Zealand, they've recently taken our van out. They're thinking about getting a zone, yeah. and they're just working through what works for them. Just quickly, these Facebook groups that you see, mm. if you're out there and you, it doesn't matter what brand of van you've got, and you join a Facebook group, when you get on there, rather than just asking your question, have a little search in that magnifying glass because chances are your question may have already been answered. Mm -hmm. And it's very helpful. And all these people that are members, sure they're pro their own van, they'll jump on and they'll quickly answer your questions for you, won't yep. they? They're very active on most of the sites. We've met a lot of people there and we're going for a little trip, Victoria, Adelaide for a month. Yep. And just a shout out, Stephen Wright, well done mate. He, he knows every campsite, every road, Yep. And he's provided us with a whole lot of information. Hints, tricks, tips. So that's just fantastic. Mm. And these are all things by just becoming part of that sort of community. Yep. We better get on with this episode. Hang around to the end because we've got three offers for you. We only talk about real quality stuff. So if you're looking, now's a good time of year. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for something, have a look at this stuff. And, you know, if it suits your needs, fine. If we can help you out, you'll get some discounts, that kind of stuff. Okay, let's get on with it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're like us and you like to drool over a luxury product, yes, then you can't necessarily afford it. But if you can afford it, you're going to be having a look too with a lot of interest because this van is over the top, isn't it? Yes. It has every conceivable thing that you could ever imagine you'd need in a caravan. All these inclusions, top of the range, top shelf. Mm -hmm. Yep. It does. So, we're going to have a little chat about that. 1500 watts of solar. Yeah. 1,200 amp hours of, of lithium battery. It was a good experience out there, I think. Yeah, it was a good day. Well worth going out. We have a zone base, right? It's a few years old. So we're thinking maybe we should upgrade. I'm not talking about an upgrade to this particular one. But no, that will be something a significant else. jump. So we're out there. We're still reviewing bands and campers and whatever, Yeah. Um, which is good. But we just want to go out there and show you, just from our perspective, what this van was all about. And this is like an introduction to the van. It is. So it's not an in-depth review. Yeah. But what have we got? 23 foot. Yep. Which is 7.1 metres. Yep. In Tear weight, terms. 3.27 tonne. Yep. Right. Ball weight around 250. That's and, right. And um, it has a GVM of 4.5 tonne. Mm. So you're going to need your own special vehicle or specially treated vehicle to be towing this particular van. Yep. 400 litres of water. That's a lot of water, but that's good. And the storage space in it is crazy. Yeah, there is. There's huge amount of storage. It's got everything you, can, you could dream of. Composting toilet. It's got a diesel oven. You know, it's the, got an induction cooktop, Sapphire. Yeah, induction cooktop. No, it has everything. If you want to just jump on their website, we'll put a link below, but have a look at this van. It looks like a million bucks. Yeah. It's not a million bucks. It's about a quarter of that. It's crazy. And they've enclosed the toolbox. 
Yep. So you don't have that traditional toolbox. So for me, if I wanted to stop by the side of the road cutting up my timber and putting the big logs on the front of the van, I'm going to have to come up with a new strategy for that. Yeah, a new storage area for you. Yeah, I'll tell you what, on top of the car. That's where the new storage area is. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll that work something work out. out so well for you in the I'll past. I'll work something out. Method race wheels. Yep. I think Cruise I had... Master ATX unleashed suspension. Top of the range stuff. Yep. It was just oh, fantastic. The top of the DA range 45 stuff. hitch. Yep. Disc okay. brakes. What else have we got? It's got, a, oh, it's got all the goods. It's got a 45 litre diesel, diesel tank in the front. Yes. It has got a very small slimline toolbox along the front of mm. the van. And that's just for pipes and it's got the two gas bottles enclosed mm. and, the, and that's where you fill the diesel tank. So you got the two gas bottles. They're little ones, they're probably mm. three kilo ones or something. Yeah, they're the same size. Well, I don't think they are. They might even be smaller. Might mm. be two kilo ones. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because they're there for the barbecue. That's right. Which is good. Everyone wants a barbecue. Well, because you, they're going camping to experience the outdoors. Something and I didn't see. That's part of the that. outdoors. It has a washing machine. Yes, that's it, good. It does have a washing machine. No yes. dishwasher though. No, it doesn't have a dishwasher. Who wants a dishwasher? Some well, a lot of people do. are starting to talk about wanting a dishwasher in the van though online, and some of the people. I don't know. I thought I was a dishwasher. You don't dishwash. Yes, I do. I'm the dishwasher. You never do it. Yeah, you make me do all those no, laborious tasks. No, never. I've, you've never washed up in any of our vans, ever. She's deluding herself. No, never. I wash you, up all the time. You wash up one cup if you want to make yourself a coffee from the I morning. I polish That's those it. cupboard doors. Mm -hmm. I've got to tell you, if you want luxury, I haven't seen any better. Including all those other rich ones. And you know this bed here? Yes. You can configure that to the centre. Oh, so you can get around the side there. Excuse me for eating. Mm -hmm. Look here. Diesel oven. This is the top of the range, Wallace. I think dimmable lights, super comfy. It's got your favourite thing where you're sitting on. Cafe lounge. And what is it? All full leather. Leather. Diamond stitching, nice white stitching. Mm. I've got to tell you, if you're in this particular market segment looking to spend... 267000 I haven't seen anything better. <laughs> ever. Yeah. Look, same lights as in the JK, mate. Mm -hmm. Must be good. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, see this? This is a UV yeah. filtration system. Because that UV system just kills everything. Coming in every tank to the sink. Can we retrofit that? I don't know. Because I'd really like that. It's good. Yes. I love the LEDs, but they are adjustable now. You can dim them. So that's good. And, and even if you can't, I know how to fix them. You haven't mm. seen that video. When you go into the Peregrine though, they've got the white cabinets in the same matte, which I know some people like, some people don't. I like matte. But I do like it Personal in this preference. colour grey. I think this grey is better mm. for the cabinets. I haven't liked the white matte. Okay. I know, and I'm one. I just, I prefer it in this colour. Mm. Whatever this grey is, I really like it. USB-C? USB and USB-C? Now, yes. I haven't seen another manufacturer with the skill and ability of Zone putting this silicon on. It is just first class. Now, I know that's pretty petty. It's just a silicon. But the way it's done... I really yeah. like it. A lot of space down here. Yeah. This is big, but this is unusual, this one, because that's where the diesel hot water is. Yeah. Yeah, there is a lot more around. In there, up above. Mm. Yeah, well that one there, that's just the hot water system, right? This one here, that's a big space compared to normal. What you normally see under a sink in any van. Normal shower. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's nice. Okay. Big fridge. This is the big mother fridge. This is a trek fridge one, yeah. And it's got the split shelf like that. That's great for tall things. And oh, slide out. I missed that. We've only got a half one. I really like a full one. Mm, good. Are you going to approve this? Approve what? Approve the summon. A couple of drawers under here. Yeah. <clears throat> They're quite long drawers. But don't forget, under that side of the bed, you've got this massive space underneath. Yeah. Anyway, I'll show you that. Cool. TVs, fans, you name it. I like the longer cupboards. So rather than having one cupboard, one cupboard, one cupboard, 
they just had one big long one and then another one. Yeah. That's already got the shelves like it comes with the shelves in by the looks of it, so I don't think you're adjusting them. It's got adjustments in it but I can't see. They got a little lip here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not like ours, is it? Ours no. doesn't have a lip. No, it doesn't. Things have come out. flying out, but not out of there. This is very nice. Yeah. How are you going to get down there? I don't know. There's like this storage area right down the end. I don't know. Little nook. Is that like a, you're going to put a safe in there? Because yeah. <laughs> you're never going to get there again. No idea. Very nice. Hey, I've spoke about the weight. Yes. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Just to reiterate there, that's a really good video to watch about the types of cars and vehicles you can purchase for towing these size caravans. Mm -hmm. I'll put that down in the description. Well worth the 10, 15 minute watch. It'll, you know, there's a lot of numbers in it, but it's very clear about how you go about making these decisions. And you'll feel educated, will you? I think so. Okay. And get professional advice. It's okay yeah. for me to say one thing and another thing, and this is what I've done. <coughs> we have GVM upgraded our car, mm -hmm. so nice. which is terrific. That video is coming out in a few days, so yeah. don't forget to like and subscribe. Push that bell, and then you'll see what it is straight away. In the meantime, you should go back and have a look at our little face-off between the 200 series and the zone. Yeah. about who was going to win the weight competition because the 100 series the Tonka 200. truck the 200 series Tonka yeah. truck <sighs> pathetic oh you started to pick on that now have you it's pathetic I'm, what what you're picking on that Tonka truck really Tonka toy it's not even a truck mate <laughs> it's a poor excuse for a towing vehicle okay that's wrong it's an excellent towing vehicle you've just got to have a van the right size to put behind it yes okay okay good so get professional advice. Yes. There are some still options you can upgrade to. Look, you can't configure your own van however you want to do it. That's just the way it goes. It is. Th that's the way. They certainly have, and I know there's a lot of other caravan manufacturers out there that are trying to get a website like the Zone one. And we're yeah. not exaggerating here. You go on anyone else's website and you yeah. try and configure a van, know how much it is, how much it's going to weigh without yeah. talking to a soul. Yeah. Uh, let us know who those people are. I haven't seen any. Yeah. They're getting close, but they still, it's weights aren't there, or they, they, there's too many options, yeah. so therefore they can't nail the weight down, trying to mm. work that out. And that just affects your ability to purchase the right tow vehicle. Yeah. We also caught up with Brad and Haley, our Australia trip. They've been travelling around, they must have done 20, 30,000 kilometres. They've just upgraded their van. They're sort of ambassadors for Zone, so they're out there driving and touring with it. Mm -hmm. And they're genuine people, and... Um, you know, look, they haven't any problems either. That higher bed, that might make its way into some other models because just by lifting that up mm. and giving you this huge space where you can have a big door on the side to access from outside, mm. I'd like to see you being able to access that compartment from the inside also. So rather than running out in the rain trying to find it and get it out, you could mm. just lift the bed up and have access. Yeah. I love the fact too that there's, instead of having three three lots of cupboards up above the sink, say, for instance. Yeah. They've just got two big doors. Well, one big so, one. And so you have less, less, less things to open and shut. Yeah. Well, yeah. my only thing that I've thought, and there was a couple of other ladies there who thought the same, was we sort of think that we'd like the induction cooktop, the option to have the induction cooktop put in the drawer so you could take it in and out as you want because a lot of us are using air fries and we're using thermomixes to cook with. And so sometimes some we're not necessarily, and that, using that bench space or having it mm. flat would be great to us. And mm. I, I just like to see that or the option to be able to do that. You either have it built in or you have it in the drawer so you can take it in and out. I get the idea that it's a summer experience and everything's set up and you walk in and that's the way you get it. But I just think that's something I'd like and something else I'd like is, mm. and I saw this on Jack and Megan's build of Myrtle and I have to give it to them, is that they put a charging drawer in and I'd really like to see yeah, that. If you can do it in a 50 year old vintage caravan, you can do it in any van. It doesn't matter what brand, make, model. Hey, something else it. interesting. Brad, mm. he had a comment and we were talking to a couple of people out there. You know how everyone gets a van and the first thing they do is go out and get something a put, coffee machine? No, oh. to put on the inside the drawers and inside oh, the cupboards to yeah. stop stuff sliding around. Yeah, the like anti-slip 
things. Yeah, whatever yeah, it's yeah, called. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You what's know just called that mad things. or that meshy yeah. stuff that you buy from Bunny. Why not? You you see like you watch all these boating videos. Mm -hmm. You know where they get the little neoprene stuff and it's all cut out and it's all beautiful? I think that could just be produced and placed into all these cupboards and drawers by the caravan manufacturers. Well, that... Look, it's not difficult. Oh, okay. Yeah, it could be. It's not difficult. And when you have laser cutting technology and all this kind of stuff, I think, even if it was a pack or an optional extra, you know, here it is for your van. You just mm. take the pack home and you go around and you put it all in. I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah, well, that'll save you a whole day cutting everything out, measuring every cupboard, and, and it's getting not heavy. Roll. It's yeah. not heavy. Mm. Yeah, and meanwhile, we all jump up to Bunnings and get our roll of that mesh rubber stuff, mm. and we sit there. You know, some of us measure it meticulously, others just go, "That's the roundabout right." I'll <laughs> cut it off there and chuck it in. Right, <laughs> and if you don't get it right, everything slides around on mm. that mat, stays on the mat. Yeah, but then it's all squished up. Mm -hmm. If you're out there looking for anything to do with your van from a Boss Jockey wheel to a, what's the one we got? Blackjack. Blackjack, any of those hitches, anything to do with camp chairs, all that kind of stuff, you should have a look at Campira and you'll get 5% off if you use our code. We'll just put it down the bottom here. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is jump on the Nove site. site. Yep. We've got one of the best camp lights around, but they also have a range of driving lights and you know work lights, that kind of thing. 20% off there. Mm -hmm. And finally, Oz Briar. So, it's not barbecue, is it? An Oz Briar is a cooking method. Mm -hmm. So it's all stainless steel stuff. Yep, and you can make your fire in these. They have a big one and a little one. They have all the accessories for the fireplace. Yep. And then they have the, what are the other ones? The chef? The knives, the fire chef. The fire chef's knife, they yeah. are crazy. Talk about a big knife, that's where you get a big knife. Yeah, no, they're dangerous for you. And they come in this beautiful leather pouch. Everyone bought me one last Christmas, didn't you? Yes, we did. 10% off there. That's the best we can do for you guys. So we're not recommending anything that's cheap or rubbish or you're not gonna have for a very long period of time because mm -hmm. we know how hard it is to get your money in the first place. Yes. So if you're spending it, just buy the right thing. Pay once. Yes. Isn't that right? Yep. Poor man pays twice. That's correct. Is that right? You always say that. Yeah. yeah. So what about you with your two things that you like? The interior design yep. and layout. What's special about that? Just the colours that they use. It just made, it just gave it just such a luxury feel. There's a couple of points you mentioned, like around the bed area, where they don't yeah. have pointed, angled. No, they rounded the shelving. A little bit on rounded. The side of the bed, and they covered it in leather, mm. and it just gave it that real homely, I don't know, luxury, okay. just sheer luxury feel. Well, it about is a it. summit. It's meant to it be just, luxury. It just did though. That's what it delivered. Like you're walking in the Hilton Hotel or something. Yeah. There must well, be I'm not going to hit my head on that because the angle was mm. gone. Hey, that's what I like too. You get on the bed, and sure, the bed is very high. Yes. Right, so you, you get up there, and you're not going to bound up there, are you? No. Otherwise, you're going to crash into the roof. Yeah, well, but there's will. still adequate room. You get up on the bed, and you just get in your position, and that's fine, mm -hmm. right? One thing I did notice was there's no way I'm hitting my head on the, ca on the, sh on the cupboards yeah. above my head. Yeah. Because they're on the back wall, right? Yes. So you're laying there, and you're in front of them, which is a great thing. Yeah. Just most caravans, they've got these cupboards over the head. And if you get up in a hurry, <laughs> number of vans everyone's bashed their head. Constantly. Everyone's bashed their yeah, head. Yeah, it happens. Anything yeah. else? Uh, the outdoor fridge. Yeah. A lot of people mm. like that. Some don't, but I liked it. Some don't. Look, I think having a fridge outside while you're at the barbecue and you can get some drinks saves you walking in and out all the time. Letting the bugs um, in. I don't think bug, bug, I don't think the eradication of bugs has been successful across the caravan industry. No. They just seem to get in. Yeah. Somewhere, it doesn't matter. You can have everything closed and they still get in. That's right. But anyway, the good thing, zone, no dust. Yes. If you get any dust, you might see it right around the bottom of the seal somewhere, but not in the van. So what's your favorite thing? Well, I really enjoy the quality of all the components. Like you are paying top dollar. Mm -hmm. So you'd expect everything to be Rolls Royce. So I don't see any evidence of scrimping and scraping, yet charging you a fortune. Mm -hmm. right? And it's not a fortune, right? It's relative. But I see no evidence of that. The very best components by the best brands are in this van. So I wouldn't be expecting any dramas. And what's your next one? I love the way the toolbox is enclosed at the front. Mm -hmm. Now, the more I looked at it, I didn't think that way at first, but the more I looked at it, I thought, wow, 
there's a really big space in the front now. A yep. lot bigger space than you would get with your normal toolbox area. Uh, you'd have to have a little workout and see what sort of shelving you were going to do. Maybe you're going to have big plastic tubs. That can be inconvenient. Mm. So I think everyone needs to think about how do they use this space efficiently. Or you can put your bikes in there. Yes. Or fishing rods or big lounge chair, recliner chairs. Maybe a motorbike. Tables, motorbike. Yeah. If you had a boat on top of your car. That kind of stuff. The motor could go in there easily in either of those compartments. It is so big. And I do, one other thing I do like, this Summit in, in its design has brought together the components from the other van. You can see in this van the mm -hmm. Expedition, you can see the Peregrine, you can see the Sojourn, all of those things are incorporated. The very best components of those vans are in this van. In your opinion? In my opinion. Right. So we don't know that for a fact. but. It looks well, you this can, way. because the Expedition has those big storage compartments underneath, yep. and this van has the big storage yeah. compartment yeah. underneath. That makes and, sense. You just... Hey, listen, if you want a detailed review of this van, mm. jump on the Zone website or the YouTube page, right? Yeah. And you'll see Tofty, or Adrian Toft, he'll walk right around that van and show you absolutely everything that's in it. We've got another episode coming out, haven't we, about yes. weights. We've got our GVM upgrade done. Yep. So that's going to be out in a few days. So like and subscribe, and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching just to take the family out, or for two people. <laughs>